بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر اسٹڈنگ دا کورس الیکٹرو میگنیٹک تھیوری دس از لیکچر نمبر 4 فور کلاس ایم ایس سی پارٹ 2 آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر جنتی لال خان ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از اباؤٹ اسٹیٹک کرنٹ ان میڈیا ود اؤٹ سورس از اے ایم وی کین ڈیوائڈ دا سسٹم ان ٹو پارٹس فرسٹ ون از الیکٹرو اسٹیٹک سسٹم اف کنڈکٹرز اینڈ ڈائریکٹکس اینڈ دا سیکنڈ ون از سسٹم دیٹ کنڈکٹس اے اسٹیٹک ہیئر in this lecture we want to construct an analogy between these two systems let us start with the homogeneous ohmic and conducting medium without internal source of pf here we consider the steady state condition for a system in which local charge density is at its equilibrium value if local charge density is at its equilibrium value and the time derivative this charge density is equal to 0 it means that current density is constant throughout the medium so the equation of continuity reduces to del dot j is equal to 0 this is known as the steady current situation if del dot j is equal to 0 by using ohm's law we can replace j as sigma times e so this equation reduces to del dot e is equal to 0 here we can replace electric field by using this equation electric field can be defined as negative of potential gradient so using this equation in above del square of e is equal to 0 this is known as the laplace equation we can solve laplace equation by various techniques one of them is separation of variables as we have learned in our previous lectures in order to solve laplace equation we must know about the condition if the boundary conditions are known then these conditions are sufficient to solve the problem by specifying either potential or the current density at each point on the surface of the medium regarding steady state condition we can solve the steady state problems by converting them into its equivalent electrostatic problem here we can specify j by using electric field e and that electric field e can be found at each point inside the medium from the gradient of h as you can see over here electric field can be find out using a gradient approach once we know about the electric field we are in a position to find out the current density and the current density will help us describe the steady state condition of a system let's consider an example here we are considering the steady state conduction and we want to find out the current which crosses the interfacial area between the two conducting system let us consider one conducting system with potential v1 and the other conduction system with potential v2 if we want to find out the current flow between the two system or the interfacial area between the two cylinders so the normal component of j or current density must be continuous across the interface we can find out this current in two ways first one is we have to find out the current density in region 1 and the other one is we have to find out the current density in region 2 but in steady state condition and the continuous media the current density on the interfacial part on both region must be equal so j1n is equal to j2 we can replace current density as sigma1 e1n is equal to sigma2 e2 as we know that no source of emf is either medium so e dot dl close integral of e dot dl must be equal to 0 we have learned in chapter number 3 that how to solve this equation and find the relation e1 t is equal to e2 t this is known as the tangential part of electric field in region 1 must be equal to tangential part of electric field in region 2 this equation is valid for both the system either the system with electrostatic or in a steady state condition now if we want to find out the current flow between the two conductor of potential v1 and v2 so current expressed in this form i is equal to difference of potential on the conductor divided by r in the resistance of the medium and current can be expressed in form of current density as closed integral over s j dot n into da here s is the closed surface which completely surrounds one of the conductor use j dot sigma into e in above equation and compare the two current equation we have v1 minus v2 over r is equal to sigma times 
close integral over s e dot n into d a. Here, if identical electric field is produced by electrostatic charge on the two metallic conductor, then right hand side, the integral part can be expressed using Gauss's law as 1 over epsilon times q. Here, q is the charge on the metallic conductor and epsilon is the permittivity of the medium. The situation described above constructs a capacitor system. There are two conductors with the medium between them. So, the charge stored on the conductor is expressed as q is equal to c into difference of potential v1 minus v2. Use this equation in that part and replacing this part over here and comparing the two sides we have q over rc is equal to sigma times q over epsilon and from here rc is equal to epsilon over sigma. This is the relation between the resistance of the medium and the capacitance of the equal electrostatic problem. Here you can see that the right hand side of this part represents the conductivity in the system here the current flows and this is its equivalent electrostatic part here is the resistance r and the capacitance c the second topic is approach to electrostatic equilibrium when we are discussing about the conductors or metals we know the structure of the metals as center is the positively charged nucleus and the electrons revolve around the nucleus and those electrons which are close to the nucleus are tightly bound whereas the valence electrons are less bound to the nucleus and these valence electrons or the excess charges on the conductor reside on its surface. This is known as its equilibrium state. This equilibrium can be achieved in metallic conductor in a rapid manner whereas in poor conductor it can be approached in a slow manner due to its low conductor. Let us consider homogeneous isotropic medium of conductivity sigma and permittivity epsilon and the free volume charge density rho naught. If we disturb that medium or system by suddenly isolating this system from the sources of EMF or time dependent electric field, then what will happen? That system will tend towards its equilibrium condition. Means no excess charge in the interior of the system but comes on the surface of the medium. We know about the current density equation. We can replace J and here del dot E is expressed as rho over epsilon. Means the divergence of an electric field is not equal to T. Use this equation over here. We have partial rho over partial T plus sigma over epsilon into rho is equal to 0. This differential equation in terms of charge density rho. The solution of this partial differential equation is rho of x, y, z and T is equal to rho naught x, y, z and exponential minus sigma T over epsilon. Here we can see in the solution equilibrium state approached in exponential manner and the quantity in exponential part epsilon over sigma has the dimension of time or this is known as time constant or the relaxation time Tc of the medium. This time constant describes how fast a system can approach to its equilibrium value and it can be defined as the time required for the charge in a specified region to decrease to 1 over epsilon times the original value. Here Tc is equal to epsilon over sigma and it can be expressed as epsilon into eta. Here eta represents the resistivity. And in a practical experiment, when a material wants to reach its equilibrium charge distribution condition, so Tc must be much shorter than the characteristic time constant to make the pertinent measurement. In conductors, Tc must be less than 0.1 second and Tc must be very very less than 1 over f. Here f is the highest frequency involved in the experiment. If the frequency is high, so the time constant is small. It means that a system approach to its equilibrium condition in a very rapid manner. So we can say that system is less resistive and having a high conductivity. Thank you.